Hey guys, it's Shauna from Dress Nerds here, and the winter season is upon us, introducing a new year of anime. Now, I have a good feeling for 2016 overall, especially coming off of 2015, which, as I've stated before, wasn't a bad year, but just wasn't as good as I was hoping. So it's time to look at what shows I'm anticipating and start off the new year. Number 5. Myriad Colors Phantom World Starting off my first list of 2016 is the newest show by Kyoto Animation. Phantom World takes place in the future where humans fight beings called phantoms. The main character, Haruhiko, attends school as a first year with his upper classmate Mai, and they, along with their other classmates, all have special powers that allow them to fight the phantoms. Haruhiko and his classmates all experience normal high school life until a certain incident will help lead them to certain truths of their world. I've enjoyed all the anime KyoAni has done in recent years, so I do want to check it out. Being KyoAni, the animation looks beautiful, and I'm also glad that they're doing another attempt at an action show since I really enjoy Beyond the Boundary. However, while I'm pretty excited to see another KyoAni show, there are some things that make me hesitate. First, I'm not too sure about the characters. While I think Haruhiko and Mai seem decent from what I've seen, I don't know if I'll like the other characters. They just look a little generic and I'm not too sure if I like them. Just from what I've seen, of course. Also, Phantom World seems a little pandering with its fan service. From what the trailer has shown me, it looks like the fan service will be pretty distracting and I'm not looking forward to that. But the story looks pretty interesting and it seems like it might build to something great. So even though I have my skepticisms, I'll still check it out. Kiyoani hasn't disappointed me so far and hopefully they won't start now. Number 4. Beyond the Sky Into the Firmament Beyond the Sky takes place on a set of four islands. On these islands exist anti-graviton shoes that allow people to soar the skies, which also developed the sport of flying circus. The protagonist, who once wished to have a feature in this sport, suffered a setback due to an overwhelming defeat and soon decided to withdraw from the sport because of this and another unknown reason. However, after meeting Asuka and teaching her how to fly, his old passion has returned, and he's decided to take part in the Flying Circus once again. So Beyond the Sky was originally a visual novel, and from seeing the trailer, it's pretty easy to tell. Now, I'm not expecting anything amazing or revolutionary in terms of characters or story, but it seems like an enjoyable time. The idea of this guy who turned away from his dream but is pulled back in by this girl is a cute concept and even reminds me of Your Lie in April. Beyond the Sky looks like a really calm and simple anime to watch and I actually want to see how the romance between the two main leads develops. It just looks really sweet and there's nothing wrong with that. Number 3. Prince of Stride Alternative Getting right down to it, Prince of Stride is a sports anime done by Madhouse. That description alone makes me want to see it. And being a sports anime, there isn't that much to say about the plot except that two friends try to form a relay team in order to compete in the end of summer race to become the best school in Japan. Your typical sports anime plot. Of course, the most interesting thing about Prince of Stride is that it's done by Madhouse. Madhouse is an amazing animation studio, and if they're doing a sports anime, then there's a high chance that it's going to be good. From the trailer, Prince of Stride has a really cool looking art style, and it seems like they'll do a pretty good job at making running seem epic. I mean, if anime can make biking seem cool, then I'm sure Madhouse can do the same with relay racing. Especially since the director of Prince of Stride also worked on No Game No Life, I have a really good feeling about it. I really enjoy a good sports anime, and it looks like Madhouse will deliver on this one. Number 2. Dimension W The concept of Dimension W is that in the year 2071, the world's energy problems have been solved 
by coils that extract energy from the W dimension, which seems to be an infinite energy source. In this world, unofficial illegal coils are harnessed that the police can't fight against. Our main character, Kiyoma, is a repo man who deals with these coils because of his hate for them. He then runs into Mira, a unique and mysterious coil android, and the two form a reluctant partnership. Dimension W has an interesting world that I'm very curious about. Exploring the way the world works with this mysterious power source and seeing if these coils are truly safe are questions that I really want to see answered. Kiyoma and Mira also seem like really interesting characters, and seeing how they work with each other is something that I'm also curious about. It looks like Dimension W has a lot going for it with its interesting world and characters, and I just can't wait to see what it does with that. Number 1. Erased This anime follows Satoru, a 29-year-old manga artist who struggles to make a name for himself. However, he also has a unique supernatural power of being forced to prevent deaths and catastrophes by being sent back in time before they can happen. One day, he gets involved in an accident that has him framed for a killing. He then goes back in time and finds himself as a grade schooler one month before his fellow classmate Kyle went missing. So Satoru has to save Kyle and solve the mystery behind her disappearance. Now, this concept of a guy being able to go back in time and prevent crime sounds really cool. I really like the mature tone this anime is going for, with this mystery Satoru has to solve in order to prove his innocence. I feel like the story could go in so many different directions, and I wonder which way it's going to go. With A1 Pictures in charge of the animation, the series composition done by the guy who worked on Silver Spoon, and having the director of Silver Spoon as well, this is one mystery that I can't wait to sit through. So those are my top 5 most anticipated winter anime of 2016. Overall, I would say this season is a pretty decent start to 2016. Of course, there are more interesting anime other than these 5, and more are on the way with the future seasons to come. There's a lot to be excited about this year, and I look forward to what it has to offer. So that's it for now, and here's hoping to a great year.